Exactly one month ago, I released a video called They Already Added Mods to this parkour game, where in that I was testing out the mods on the Rooftop and Ellie's Discord server. So we had someone imported the whole Skate 3 map. There was also other ones like Shipment and Hawaii from Skate 3 as well. And there was also different backpacks they had at the time. But now that it's been a month, I want to see how different this game looks. And just a quick glance at the Discord already, I'm already seeing a Hanzo map. We got Miles Morales skin. We got a custom loading screen. If I click play, what's this? Okay, so I've seen a similar type of video. Yes, yeah, so basically you can now put in a custom like video for your intro screen. I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so we've got a Miles Morales skin. We've got Air Jordans 4. There's also a Wipeout map. I might want to try that. I'll probably, okay, we'll add this to our collection. So I'll just quickly download this. There's also a Dead Mouse 5 helmet as well you can use. Oh, that's cool. You can use it like as the DJ set in that shed map. There's a lot of customizations. Why is Genji in the game as well? I swear I saw like a Valorant. Yeah, here we go. A Valorant Knives backpack. I might actually add that one instead. Light save it looks cool but just looking at this sword here i don't know it just looks a lot better look at all those options so maybe we'll download this there's also a downhill mega ramp here what is this one like this map i've been working on for the past few weeks now this is not my final and may be updated it basically just looks like a massive ramp you go down wait let's just watch a video okay so it looks like there's more than just a ramp because you can see that they're kind of running around going up the stairs as well oh that's like kind of a, a cs type map as well because like that kind of ramp there there's also this abomination what is this there is so much going on with this screen here. I don't even know what's happening. Wait, let me try and find another image. I, I don't know what this is. <laughs> what is this map? Is this meant to be a reference to something? Yeah, I don't know what this map's meant to be. This is just completely different to what it used to be because yeah, the mods were very simple back in the day. How is there also an Easter Island helmet? These mods are kind of getting out of hand, not gonna lie. And there's also a Wii Resort Island as well. Okay. I feel like I should just go into these maps right now and test them out. All right, well, here we are. Look at my character here. So I've got the dead mouse helmet on. I got like a robot body and legs. I also have the sword as well, but an outfit can't be complete unless you have the Lightning McQueen Crocs on. So there we go. That's my uh, outfit I'm rocking with right now. But look at this map here. This is massive. It seems like we can go down on these ramps. We'll just go and fall down this. So the map said, welcome to, I'm gonna fall off. I need to try and just <laughs> pay attention to this as well. So welcome to the Outlands. Have a fun with this huge map. I will work on this map continuously and will upload updates. So that's what Cruz said. I'm trying to like <laughs> look at this while like try to slide down, but they said they got trampolines, slides, stride spots, and mini games. All right, have fun. Okay. So here we are. I don't know how this is a month later into this game and we've already got this. Like, what is this mayhem? Wait, that's actually really cool. There's also a painting in this map as well. Oh, there's multiple of them. Shout out to whoever did the concept art. This looks amazing. I don't know why, but this just feels like a little massive Lego set. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I Like, is there meant to be like an objective because of how big this map is? Or is it kind of just like free roam? Is this meant to be like a reference to something that I'm just not picking up on? Or is this just like a random idea? Okay, we've got this thing here. It says hit the target. Three attempts. The player with the highest score wins. I don't know what you mean with the highest score because we can't do multiplayer here, but I'm guessing if you want to like just play with your friends on Discord, this could work. Yellow is three points, red is two points, blue is one point. Players start at this area because that's where the arrow is. Is there another side also? It says player starts here. I'm going to go on this side. So what do we do? Do you kind of just like fall off? Oh, is this like dead meat? The, well, in dead meat in skate, the goal is to basically jump off and see how many bones you break. Maybe this is like you jump off and you see how many tricks you can do wait let me just jump this anyway how many points do we get anyway oh i just i die <laughs> the game can't even register that i'm trying to do a flip right now okay well, what do you mean by one two and three points hit the target oh wait there should be like a target on the floor right i think i saw that when i was falling oh i see it all the way down there okay so the goal is to try and get into yellow okay let's see how many points we can get i'm way too far off <laughs> So it looks like I'm gonna have to jump this. All right, let's do a run up and then jump. We can also do a flip as well. I did not mean to do that. I kind of slipped over. Wait, am I gonna hit it? Oh, we landed on the white. Damn. All right, we're gonna get this. What if I do a flip? So if I run, I think I overshot that again, but well, we actually might be close. Oh, we landed in the blue. Nice. Okay, so we've got one point. So yeah, I got it three points. I only get three attempts. Oh, I did more than three attempts. All right, we'll start it now. That was just a practice. Okay, so the goal was to do a flip here. All right, so this is our first one. Can I get it? Uh, no, we just completely missed it. <laughs> Once I jump from here, it may be... Oh, this could work. I'm in the white though. Okay, I gotta at least get a color. So I either need to get blue, red, or yellow. One more shot. 
Jump that. Try and land this. Oh, what's this? Didn't even get a color. We landed on black. Three attempts and I got zero points. Yeah, but it looks like there's also different regions. So we went to the yellow one and the blue one. I'm heading over to the green area right now. There's also red over there as well. What's this? Oh, okay. It's now just like <laughs> trampolines. I didn't know that. It's also in this game as well. Oh, that kind of looks like a skate course with a bunch of stairs. Man, if only someone could import a skateboard, <laughs> that'd be crazy. But this is kind of like a, ooh, I don't know, like, because we got pink trees. This is kind of like a Japanese type of vibe we're getting here. It's also like a sound stage as well. This is a perfect area for my character. If I had like a DJ booth here, this would be great. Unless, oh wait, unless it's all the way over here. But oh, here we go. This is a massive sound stage. This is... <laughs> What even is this game anymore? That's crazy. I can't do emotes though, but man, look at this. All right, let's try out some other ones as well. Okay, so this one's called Fun Town by ICU. And so I think the goal is to basically, oh, this is kind of like Fall Guys this kind of thing. Oh, I fell already. I just had a lot of vibrant colors. So I was just thinking it's like Fall Guys. We run across the green, jump through this. Nice. Okay, let's see how quickly I can do this. Just keep running. Oh, I didn't fall yet somehow. Just keep running this. We're gonna make it. Maybe do some flips. Oh, that launched me off. Okay. You know what? Let's put down a timer and let's see how quickly I can do this. Okay, so all I have to do is just run across the green here. Jump that. Nice. And then there's the spinning circles. I could just run along the side here. This also works. Kind of cheating it, but that's fine. Get past these hammers. And if I jump up here, it lets me. There we go. Jump over this spinning thing. I feel like with the spinning, oh, that's gonna screw me over. <laughs> I think this like, yeah, the spinning thing on the floor, just jump over it. All right, run. Oh, okay, so this is like the other one where I fall over. So I gotta try and be, okay, don't worry. We got 40 seconds into that and I died. <laughs> All right, attempt two, let's try it. So run across the green, perfect. And go this way, let it spin, jump. And then I can't make this jump. Oh no, we can. Can I get back up or? thought I could, but it looks like that one you just have to go under. This is easy. This is fine. And jump over the spinning thing because it's going to launch me up. Okay, so this is where the floor moves. So how do I, unless I can cheat and jump, oh, I can't jump up here. All right. Yeah, I think I'm stuck. Unless I let it fall back down. But if I do, yeah, I'm just going to fall off. How do I get past this one? Okay, I'm just going to cheat here. I'm just going to walk across the edges because I don't know how to get past this stage. Just taking my time. Just trying to walk straight. This game's now tricking me because I don't know which floor is going to fall over and which one is not. Because <laughs> it's all blue as well. I think I could just run this, right? There we go. We made it to the end. I didn't even keep track of my time in that run as well. Yeah, so not even a bad map. There's a lot of cool designs I'm seeing right now. It's crazy like how creative people are. Now, I was also requested to try this out. So we now have Skate 2 in this game as well. It's been here for a while, but Sam requested for me to try this out. I have very fond memories of Skate 2. So there's a lot of it I just don't remember about this game. The only thing I do remember at the time was like the security guards wearing the yellow shirts and they always like tase you down. I think in Skate three they push you but like in skate two they tase you same with the old grannies like <laughs> they would also just run after you and just shoot you but i was just a little kid so i don't remember a lot of this stuff anyway i don't think i really traveled the map that much i only went into like the main mall area okay so far there's a lot of me running so i'm just gonna fly around i know there's also a mod to make my pigeon like fly faster but i haven't found it yet so how big is this because i know this was two gigabytes Oh, this is a massive map. Okay. Yeah, this goes quite far. Oh, there's also like another part all the way down there as well. I think that might have been like a DLC map. I'm not too sure. I can go and check that out later. But I just want to explore this first. I'm glad I'm not just running around the map right now because this would take forever to get to it. Like I'm already slow with the pigeon right now. But I'm basically just going around having a look at this place and seeing if I try and remember anything. I think I remember that building down there, that blue one. But all this is just kind of new to me. I'm trying to think, did Skate 2? have all of this in one map or was this all like different combinations because i know with skate 3 you had university downtown industrial so there was three different maps maybe this is what he's done is he's just put like all of the different ones all together unless it's actually this big because that's crazy if that's actually the full size of this all right so if we go down here yeah i think this was the spot here like around this area where i'll just like ride around and like try and hit as many people as i could while like skateboard oh no it was this building was it i'm not too sure i'm like my, my memory is messing with me, but I think that this was the spot in here and I'll just, yeah, ride around and then a bunch of civilians are trying to taser me and push me off. I don't think they pushed me off. I think they just tasered me. But man, what a map this is. It feels so weird as well with like no civilians. It's just like you isolated by yourself. 
so strange. Okay, but I do want to check out what this map is at the very end. So this is going to take a while to fly to, but I'm just curious what's all the way over here. So I tried to look online to see what DLC maps there were, but I can't find anything. Maybe this was just sort of like one of those side missions. Unless it's like a cinematic cutscene they did at the start of the game, because the map's not even like fully loaded in. So I don't know what this is for. But you just have like a yacht kind of chilling at the edge of the map. When do I jump off? Yeah, I can land on it. Yeah, but like this yacht is kind of textured out like the floor. I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but you are missing the rails on this side. So maybe you're not meant to see on this part as well. I don't know. If you guys know what this place is, let me know. But the final map I want to try is this one here. So it says my in real life parkour gym. So basically this... Oh, you also have a person at this desk here. Hello. Let's see how well this game runs on an actual parkour map. Okay, so we're going to do some tricks here. It might not be as smooth as like an actual person, you know, trying to do their moves because I can't jump up here though. I oh, know we can. This looks very small, but I think just my character is so big. That's probably why. And then you can jump across. Yeah, so this looks like kind of those rooms you see on YouTube where it's like one of those chase videos where the guy is trying to like parkour around the ring and not be caught. I will say the controls are a little bit janky just because I haven't played in a while. Oh no, I can't even do like a dash move or whatever. That's so strange. Usually you could like... Yeah, you would have to just jump up there. Okay, we go on this side. Once we go over here. Oh, so <laughs> is that how uh, their office works? Is <laughs> don't get caught. Yeah, so it seems like this is the area where you would have to do like one of those chase games. I was just gonna say like, is the person's office all the way up there? So they would have to jump up. There's like no stairs or ladder or anything. So that the only way to get to their office is like do like some parkour moves to get up there. Yeah, because you got all your like achievements and everything, but there's like no stairs. So the only way to get up here is you have to like actually do your parkour as well. That would be annoying. Oh, there we go. Now I can actually do a dash move. It's just some of the poles didn't let me do it. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff I didn't cover anyway. Like a lot of clothing options. I've seen a lot of those neon pants as well. Like this neon hole outfit. The game just looks so much different than what it used to be. It's crazy what a month can do and like how much free time people have. And then you can also play as Fortnite characters for some reason. But yeah, maybe I might make this an annual thing. Maybe we should check on this game like another month from now and see how much has changed. I reckon in a year, because look at this. This would actually looks like something you would see on like those Fortnite previews they do. Yeah, this is gonna look like a whole different game in a couple months time. And I'm here for it.